सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू राज मल्होत्रा जाइस द पी डी एफ फॉर टूडे सेशन हैज बीन अपलोडेड ऑन आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप यू कैन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ फ्रॉम आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप मोहित यमनदीप अजय सुप्रीत विक्की प्रांजल गुड मॉर्निंग सो हाउ इज एवरी वन सब अच्छा एवरी वन इज प्रिपेरिंग फॉर दिस एग्जाम विद फुल डेडिकेशन दिस इज वट वी आर होपिंग बिकॉज विदाउट डेडिकेशन डेफिनेटली द नेचर ऑफ दिस कॉम्पिटिशन इज रियली वेरी टफ and sometimes things are difficult okay so no matter how talented you are this exam is a different exam okay so this exam is going to test you holistically so your talent may not be able to help you out in that so there is no substitute for hard work upsc lover good morning let's start the session without delaying it much okay so let's see Dibyandu, good morning. Mahi, good morning. So let's see what exactly is there. Now here we have this statement by none other than Holiness Dalai Lama. And why I have taken this particular statement? Because this statement was asked by UPSC in your GS paper four in 2021 mains. Okay. i took this statement as it is from there this statement upsc did ask in your 2020 mains the statement says that we can never obtain peace in the outer world until we make peace with ourselves this is what this statement is saying that it is really very important that you take your mind to the blissful state okay and when you talk about peace in the outer world here i am talking about international national and how things are related to an individual so this is how you should know that at the bottom of every society that is existing every system that is existing there is one human being that human being is existing human being multiple of them they will form a family some of them will form a society and when you have a proper management legal system that develops into a nation okay society or group now when you talk about group it can be anything it can be religious groupings it can be corporate groups anything okay anything society and above that we have nation and when we combined ourselves multiple countries that are existing here we have as you can say world politics or world affairs so it is really very important that at the center of this system that is existing whether it is your domestic government whether it is your different religion different sects that you are following okay at the basic point of them you have a human being guided by human values so we can say that the human values are the center stone for the existence of different ethical system that are there whether it is your international ethics chahe aapka wo international ethics ho chahe wo aapka law ho okay इंटरनेशनल एथिक्स हो जाए लॉ हो जाए और एनी अदर एंटिटी ह्यूमन वैल्यूज आर एट द बेस पॉइंट दैट्स द सिग्निफिकेंट थिंग दैट यू शुड नो सो इट इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी शुड बी एट आर पीस इन आर माइंड दैट्स द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट थिंग एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू शुड नो लाइक वॉर कैन वी से दैट वॉर इज द क्रिएशन ऑफ ह्यूमन माइंड कैन वी से सो can we say that the fight 
any fight fight between any individual fight between different countries can we say that it is also the origin it is also you can say the result of human thought process and it comes from the human mind so whatever differences that we have whatever problems that we have you may find that the human mind is responsible for that because sabse pehle hum kya karte hain the thinking process does take place in our mind before any action okay jab wo action hoga before that there will be a thought process and that thought process will be there in your mind so if your mind is not at peace definitely you cannot talk about providing peace in the whole world puri duniya mein aap shanti nahi pahuncha sakte ho till the time you are not at a blissful state in your mind you want to do multiple things in your life okay you want to clear this exam you want to clear this exam let like definitely i am saying that without blissful state your mind will not give 100% your body will not give 100% so whatever goal that you want to achieve in your life it is really very important that your mind and your body they perform to their maximum capacity and that is only possible if your mind is at a blissful state why why the experts if you ask them why do they say hame yoga karna chahiye why why do they say that because somehow the basic idea is that we want our mind to be at a blissful state so whatever you do in your life having a blissful state is the pre requirement having a blissful state is the pre requirement because without blissful state you will not be able to have focus and if you are not having focus how will you achieve your target how will you channelize your energy that's the important point here so considering all these things it is important that we should keep our mind at peace that's the important message that the lai lama wants to give and saying that in the outer world whatever is happening is it is basically the creation of human mind by if russia is going ahead with war definitely some russian generals they would have come out with some you can say रोड मैप की वॉर कैसे करना है ह्यूमन ब्रेन उनके पीछे है ना दिस इज हाउ इट इज सो इफ देर इज कॉमनल टेंशन इन द सोसाइटी दैट इज ऑल्सो द डिफरेंस दैट इज देर इन आर ब्रेन कॉमनल टेंशन अगर होती है तो उसके पीछे भी रिस्पॉन्सिबल क्या है ह्यूमन ब्रेन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेज दैट द लाई लामा वॉन्ट्स टू गिव एन यूपीएससी डिड आस्क दिस इन योर 2021 means 10 marker question okay now how do you address such type of questions first thing is that you can come out you can come out with say one or two lines on dalai lama aap ek do line dalai lama ke upar likh sakte hain theek hai definitely after that you can come out with this whole idea what this particular statement wants to say you can draw this flow chart map here that as at the basic point of any entity that is existing you have human being human being guided by human values okay and peace is one of the important human values if you talk about human values then peace peace is one of the important human values you can start your answer like this so this is how you can progress with your answer so let's see what exactly is there for us in today's newspaper so gyanvapi case sent to district judge as supreme court said that they want um, expert you can say judge to handle this particular matter this matter is very sensitive okay kafi uh, sensitive ye matter hai and uh, and uh, we know that we know that like we know that this matter is quite sensitive and the thing is that they have somehow maintained that the area where that shivling has been found it should be maintained as it is and there should be no disruption in the prayer that is carried out in that mosque to prayer jo hai namaz jo hai wo bhi chalti rahegi aur jo protected area hai usko manage kiya jayega protected rakha jayega and they have said that like this will be handled by a seasoned or you can say ka experienced judge okay because the sensitive matter is there 
so this is how it is so we'll move to the next part now 25 29 phones tested for pegasus spyware this is what supreme court is saying okay still this matter is going on and we know that this was an example of state sponsored state sponsored surveillance okay so why this is a serious issue because we are living in a democratic setup okay democratic values now when you do that it means that there should be rule of law there should be a rule of law okay whatever action that government is taking it should be backed by law this is what it means this is what it means that whatever executive action the government is going to take it should be backed by law there should not be arbitrariness but here it was found that the state sponsored surveillance was carried out by indian intelligence agencies okay and the prime targets the prime targets were journalists leaders from opposition parties okay this is how surveillance was carried out and why do we say that there is an angle of state sp some sponsored surveillance because the company which is manufacturing this pegasus spyware they have said that they don't sell this product to private entities so private entity ko bechte nahi hai it means that it must have been sold to government of india or any agency of government of india unko becha gaya hoga okay so this is how this is how the whole thing is the whole debate started and the matter is still going on okay so if this is a state sub sponsored surveillance definitely it's a violation of article 21 which gives you right to privacy and it was justified under putta swami judgment okay the supreme court has declared your right to privacy as fundamental right and here it has been found that even the state is indulging in that bhi aapki sarkar isi kaam mein lagi hui hai so this is how this is the whole problematic thing and the supreme court is now definitely looking into it there is already a committee that was formed by supreme court which is looking into this particular matter okay so dekhte hain kab tak ye jata hai now supreme court indicts telangana police okay so this is the very significant development that has taken place so you i hope uh, you are aware about this particular case so what happened in 2009 19 like these were rape accused okay these were rape accused somehow an encounter took place and all those rape accused were killed in that encounter what police was doing police was taking them from jail area to the respective magistrate okay sunwai ke liye leke ja rahe honge for the trial and there this development took place and those under trials were killed now this was a case of fake encounter after the investigation this is investigation which has been carried out by a supreme court appointed commission they carried out the detailed investigation of this how this encounter took place and right now they are concluding that this is a fake encounter because the findings that are there are quite absurd okay this is the development that is taking place now i am saying that people may be happy happy in the sense that people in india they want instant justice okay they want instant justice but i am asking this question to you like how can you justify police action will you allow police to do justice or there should be a judicial process this whole judicial process was undermined and encounter took place people were also very happy people were also very happy they were quite at relaxation ki ha chalo theek hai ab jo hai encounter milega man ko shanti mili logo ke but i am saying that what about rule of law what about rule of law what do you want to prevail you want this type of instant justice you want your policeman to be trigger happy ki bhi haath mein trigger leke dabate rahe ho what do you want and don't you think this may lead to target killing by police aisa bhi to ho sakta hai 
politicians they may start using this they may start using this so all this has taken place and now right now supreme court appointed commission has found that that this encounter is appearing to be absurd ye encounter absurd hai so this is the whole picture that is taking place now vicky gautam yadav is asking sir in which situation police has right of encounter police doesn't have a right of encounter police have a right of self defense encounter karne ka right nahi hai self defense ka right hai and this is what police has said police has said that those individuals they took the gun from the police and fired at them bhai bollywood ki movie chal rahi hai kya bollywood ki movie chal rahi hai kya okay so this is the point that you have to understand to ye to inhone movie bana di शूट आउट चल रहा है एनकाउंटर हो रहा है एंड दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट केस दैट हैज हैपन विकास दुबे केस ओके सो ये सारी चीजें यहां पे हो रही हैं एंड थिंग्स आर रियली वेरी अलार्मिंग अलार्मिंग इन द सेंस दैट आई एम आस्किंग दिस थिंग फ्रॉम यू विल यू व्हाट विल यू सपोर्ट यू सपोर्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ इंस्टेंट जस्टिस और डू यू सपोर्ट रूल ऑफ लॉ टू प्रिवेल because here fundamentals are really very important we are living in a democratic setup where rule of law is an important entity for your democracy without rule of law we cannot have a democratic system that is in place but here police itself is violating this principle what will you support do you support this type of justice do you support this type of justice that's the important point here so i do discuss this case study so while teaching some of the students in ncert courses so this time i was teaching ethics okay so i took this case study now i am saying i am saying that why rule of law is important so uh, this is the example that i have given multiple times suppose you are going on a highway in the night with your family aap apne ghar ja rahe ho highway hai family hai and there are three individuals who are drunk okay who are drunk who are motors on motorcycle and they met with an accident with your car unka accident ho jata hai aapki car ke sath and three of them they die three of them they die okay so wo mar jate hain wahan pe i am asking what do you want in that situation you want instant justice by the villagers विलेजर्स आपको इंस्टेंट जस्टिस दे दे या यू वांट रूल ऑफ लॉ व्हाट डू यू वांट इन दैट सिचुएशन दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट इज देयर सो दिस इज द एग्जांपल दैट आई गिव यू दैट इफ यू आर सपोर्टिंग दिस थिंग आप जैसे एनकाउंटर को सपोर्ट कर रहे हो यू नेवर नो यू नेवर नो दैट वन डे यू मे बी एट द डिसएडवांटेज वेर यू वॉन्ट द रूल ऑफ लॉ टू प्रिवेल नुकसान हो जाएगा आपका so this is the important point that you have to understand police can fire in self defense so mahi is providing some information she is saying that sir in this case the accused were taken to the crime scene for recreation of the crime when the alleged encounter took place see mahi this is what the commission has found they have found that it is quite absurd ki we police leke wo gun leke ya to bhagte okay if they have taken the gun from policemen they would have run but instead of running they started firing at policemen how is that possible aisa kaise possible hai that's why it has been found to be quite absurd okay so we'll move to the other news so where we have this news fdi inflow highest ever at 83.5357 billion okay so fdi inflow jo hai wo kafi bad gaya hai and this is what they are saying so here let's look into this now what is the benefit of having this fdi major fdi aane ka major benefit aapko kya hota hai okay so first thing is that it brings financial resources for economic development aapke yahan pe investment aayega okay investment plus business ideas investment will be there business ideas will be there new models of business mncs etc etc this is how they will be contributing brings in new technology skills knowledge that definitely bilkul okay then you have generates more employment opportunities for the people this is also the benefit 
it brings in more competitive business environment in the country definitely this is really very important that you have competition because having competition means that people the consumer they will have more choices aapke yahan pe consumer honge unke paas choices increase ho jayenge that's the point improves the quality of products and services in the sectors definitely so all these are the contributors of fdi okay and it's a good thing that we are attracting lot of fdi already there there is one report that has been published okay so one report that has been published it says that indian economy if you compare indian economy is going to outperform others this is what they are saying they are saying that even at the growth rate of 7 to 8% which is the projected growth rate it is going to outperform other they are very bullish about indian economy why see look at the present situation europe now european economy is under stress because of this ukraine russia war that is going on this war is going on and european economy is impacted their energy supply lines are impacted so european economy ka nuksan ho raha hai you talk about china so in china at present there are lockdown that are taking place wahan pe abhi lockdown laga hua hai and very intensive lockdown very intensive lockdown is there in china so their economy is struggling unki economy struggle kar rahi hai at that time this is how the whole thing is taking place same is the case with united states though its you know, economy is say bouncing back growth rate have been increasing but it will also have some impact from the european economy uska asar us ke upar bahut zyada aane wala hai so this is how the whole scenario is in the present time and definitely people are saying that indian economy is going to outperform them not just in one year say you talk about in next 5 years hum 5 saal tak baki logon ko dominate karenge this is what they say that's why they say that this is the right time to invest in indian economy so if fdi is increasing this is the reason this is the reason okay so this is what we have now we'll directly move to the editorial section see the editorial section ke upar jate hain so here we have this editorial so this has been written by suhasini haider ma'am she is saying that the neighborhood in turmoil lessons for india okay so hame kya seekhna chahiye so what is happening in your neighborhood pakistan okay the prime minister is gone imran khan gone theek hai ji gaya hu in myanmar you had military coup wahan pe aa jati hai aapki military coup sri lanka we know what is happening there major economic crisis okay वहां पे इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस आ जाता है ठीक है जी पाकिस्तान इमरान खान गोन प्लस इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस इज देयर देन यू हैव नेपाल व्हाट इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन नेपाल नेपाल इज आल्सो अंडर स्ट्रेस इकोनॉमिकली उनकी भी हालत पतली है बिकॉज टूरिज्म इज वन मेजर सेक्टर फॉर नेपालीज इकोनॉमी एंड वी नो दैट ड्यू टू कोविड एंड ऑल द टूरिज्म सेक्टर वाज इंपैक्टेड कहीं ना कहीं टूरिज्म सेक्टर जो है वो मेजरली इंपैक्ट हुआ था ठीक है हमें ये चीज मालूम है then you have okay three of them are there uh, what else is there in maldives maldives you have a campaign that is going on india out campaign okay india out campaign chal raha hai wahan pe theek hai ji what who else what what else is left in your afghanistan theek hai afghanistan ko dekhte hain the taliban is in power okay so all these developments have taken place in our neighborhood ye sab ho raha hai hamare neighborhood ke andar What are the message that we have to learn from them? In se ham kya seek sakte hain? That's the significant point here. And how do we manage this situation? How do we manage this situation? This is really important. Okay? So they are saying that we have to make some changes in your foreign policy to understand the whole challenges that are existing in our neighborhood. And the point is that there are some policies that we learn, we have you can say produced and for the implementation of them for the success of them it is really important that we do the right calculation to aapki neighborhood first policy hai okay aapki ek neighborhood first policy hai theek hai na 
if you want it to be a success you do you have to do the right calculation that's the significant point without doing the right calculation we definitely cannot ask for the improvement okay so there are few things now this editorial is explaining how things have been in the past some years in 2016 okay when modi government abhi 2 saal hue the they took the muscular foreign policy specifically with your neighbors नेबर्स के साथ मस्कुलर फॉरेन पॉलिसी आपने ली थी ओके एंड वी हैव सीन मल्टीपल एग्जांपल्स, एग्जांपल्स इन द सेंस दैट एज वी नो दैट नेपाल द पॉलिटिशियंस वर कॉजिंग अप विद चाइना सो द प्राइम मिनिस्टर के पी ऑलीज कॉलिशियन गवर्नमेंट हैड फॉलन अपार्ट ठीक है ना एंड पीपल वर सेंग दैट देर वॉज सम यू कैन से एंगल और यू कैन से एफर्ट बाय इंडियन इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसीज कि भी उनकी सरकार गिराने में इंडियन इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसीज का हाथ था सेम थिंग हैज हैपन इन द केस ऑफ पाकिस्तान श्रीलंका एज वेल सो इन श्रीलंका व्हेन राज्य पक्षे ही वाज गेटिंग टू क्लोज टू चाइना सो इट वाज सेड दैट देयर वाज अ चेंज ऑफ रेजीम एंड देयर वाज आल्सो इट वाज आल्सो सेड दैट इंडियन इंटेलिजेंस प्लेड सम रोल वहां पे भी इंडियन इंटेलिजेंस ने कुछ रोल प्ले किया था सो एट दैट टाइम थिंग्स वर क्लियर दैट दोस countries which are not cooperating with india which are not understanding the indian security interests okay or are undermining the indian security interests definitely definitely some action will be there from india to unhone bola ki some action jo hai wo india ke liye india jo hai wo lega yahan pe okay this is the whole point this is the whole point ye cheez yahan pe clearly humne unhe samjha di thi theek hai ji but right now in second terms things have changed okay during the government second term it has made peace with much more consensual conciliatory policy in neighborhood visibly improving ties with each country through high level visits extending development aid and lines of credit and enabling a rush of soft power diplomacy to ab jo hai hum thode hi pyar se baat karte hain we are we are not taking that सीरियस और यू कैन से हम आज की डेट में एकदम से सॉफ्ट हैंडेडली चीजों को हैंडल करते हैं वी आर नॉट हार्ड ऑन दैट ओके वी आर नॉट हार्ड ऑन दैट दैट्स द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हेयर दैट्स द इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हेयर सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज नाउ देर हैज बीन चेंज इन द अप्रोच वी आर मोर प्रैक्टिकल नाउ वी आर मोर मोर प्रैक्टिकल इन द सेंस दैट वेन यू टॉक अबाउट म्यांमार Indian government is not criticizing the military rule there. We are working with them. हम उनके साथ भी काम कर रहे हैं ओके इन नेपाल वी हैव सोफन ऑफ अ बीच थोड़े से हम जो है सॉफ्ट हो गए हैं इन अफगानिस्तान दो वी मे नॉट बी इंटरेक्टिंग डायरेक्टली विद द तालिबान रेजीम ओवर देयर बट वी आर हेल्पिंग दैम वी आर हेल्पिंग द अफगान पीपल वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग दैम एड उनको हम वीट भेज रहे हैं पचास हजार टन वीट भेजा आपने उनके लिए ठीक है ना सो दिस इज हाउ इट इज this is how it is pakistan for pakistani people we are concerned we do provide them with medical visas unko medical visa de rahe hain okay in the same way in sri lanka we do understand the problem that is there and the hardship that is being faced by the sri lankan people and we are ready to help them out so somehow it has been found that we have abandoned this uniformly muscular one size fit all approach wo humne yahan pe abandon kar di hai okay in myanmar the modi government continued engagement and even strengthened ties with military junta that overthrew the government led by aung san suu kyi okay so we are interacting with them we are not criticizing them in afghanistan again we are trying to work with taliban हम जोर जबरदस्ती नहीं कह रहे हैं कि हम जी तालिबान को हटाएंगे या सपोर्ट नहीं करेंगे दिस एंड दैट वी आर नॉट मेकिंग सच टाइप ऑफ स्टेटमेंट वी आर ट्राइंग टू वर्क आउट अ वे टू वर्क विद दैम ओके दिस इज हाउ इट इज इन द सेम वे वी हैव सोफन आर स्टांस बेसिक आइडिया इज दैट वी आर राइट नाउ हैविंग एन अप्रोच वे आर पीपल आर इंपॉर्टेंट ओके वी आर नॉट एंगेजिंग विद द लीडर्स ऑफ दोज पर्टिकुलर कंट्रीज रादर वी आर फोकसिंग अपॉन द पीपल so as i told you in afghanistan we provided 50000 metric ton of wheat 
हमारे इंडिया में शॉर्टेज हो रही है वीट की आपको मालूम है शॉर्टेज इन द सेंस द प्रोडक्टिविटी हैज बीन लेस बट स्टिल वी आर हेल्पिंग द अफगान पीपल दिस इज द पॉइंट सो इन केस ऑफ श्रीलंका वी हैव सेड दैट वी विल डू वट एवर वी कैन इन द बेस्ट इंटरेस्ट ऑफ पीपल ऑफ श्रीलंका दिस इज वॉट इट इज and this is the major point that you have to understand that this is a major change that we have a people centered foreign policy now not just the indian people but rather the nationals of our neighbors unke bare mein soch ke hum apna decision le rahe hain this is how things have changed this is how things have changed okay so next editorial is about talking peace negotiating with the maoist okay uh, we have seen it in last some of the years the maoist movement has gone down okay the pace has gone down this is how it is in the coming you can see in the last few years uh recently the chief minister of chatisgarh bupesh baghel he had come out with some initiative that we can negotiate the talks with maoist okay that we should persuade them to you know uh, give up weapons give up violence okay so this is how it is and these maoist they don't believe in indian government they don't recognize indian government okay and indian constitution this is what they feel but right now this system is existing and we are trying to negotiate some peace with them because shanti to aapko ek din karni hi hoti hai and peace will come only with talks okay peace will come only with talks and this is not the first effort that we are making we have made multiple efforts in the past theek hai ji this is how it is this is how it is so negotiations will start okay so the chief minister uh, he has said that we have to talk with them but the maoist they are saying that if you want talk some conducive environment have to be created kuch conducive environment aapko leke aana padega same the government is also wanting from them government is also wanting government is also expecting that maoist they will also come out with some you can say conducive environment at least jo hai talks cannot take place when violence is going on okay talks plus violence doesn't look good and it should not be there and it is not you can say acceptable so first basic thing is that we do expect them to you can say give up give up violence and all and whatever their demands are government is going to recognize them so is tarike se baat yahan pe chal rahi hai so we are persuading them to lay down their arms and all and express the faith in constitution of india this is what we expect from them okay now right now the maoists they are coming out with some preconditions they are saying that that government should implement the pisa act in letter and spirit which is provision of panchayat extension to the scheduled areas act 1996 primarily it is for the tribal units okay so they said that they are demanding that this should be implemented in letter and spirit because we know that in india we have multiple laws but we are poor at implementation hamare paas itne sare kanoon hai but hum poor hai implementation mein that's the important point here further they are saying that the major condition the maoist want include a lifting the ban on their party okay so there are some maoist organizations which have been banned by the government so they said that you cannot negotiate talks with a banned organization bhi jo organization ban kar rakhi hai uske sath aap baat thod na kar sakte ho so that's why they are saying that you have to lift some bans you have to release some jailed leaders unko aapko release karna padega and this is what they are demanding okay this is what they are demanding in the past as well some efforts have been made so this is the example that in the past former home minister p chitambaram he clarified some of the conditions that are important that if you want to have talks with maoists these are the conditions that are to be fulfilled by both the sides by the government as well as from the maoist so they are saying that there should be mutual cease fire at least guns to use na ho na violence nahi hoga okay mutual cease fire hoga both hands indian armed forces as well as the maoists they should you can say shun the violence that is then they are saying that peaceful legal work by the maoist including the lifting of ban on their party it was necessary because if the entity is not recognized then you cannot go ahead with the talks ye cheez boli thi inhone then pichitamra said that the government should adhere to the constitution and end the illegal murders in the name of encounters this is also the condition that should be accepted 
that Indian constitution talks about multiple values that are existing and there is no place for fake encounters, tortures, arrests. Okay, arrest ka allowed hai, but theek hai, ek limit mein hona chahiye. So this is also the condition. Then some of the leaders also have to be released. So all these points were provided and definitely these are sort of preconditions before having some sort of conclusive talks with Maoist. So I would like to tell you one thing here. Kuch to dekho bahut asaan hai in cheezon ko accept karna. Okay, specifically if they are demanding that PISA Act should be implemented. So it's a good, it's a good thing even for the governance. Ye to governance ke liye bhi achha hai, thik hai na? If you are implementing a particular law in letter and spirit, this is good even for the governance. That's one point. Okay, that's one point. Ye ek important point hai. Apart from that, there can be, you can say, differences over release of jailed leaders. So, jo leader, Maoist leader, jail mein hai, unko release karne pe zarur question mark hai. Thik hai na? Uh, one thing that government can do, in my opinion, this is my opinion, government ke paas apne expert hai, musse jada jante hai wo cheezo ko. Okay? I have no, you can say, issue in accepting that. So, what I think is that, at least, there are some of the leaders who were active in say urban units jo urban areas mein overground worker ka kaam karte the okay so those were overground workers overground leaders at least they can be released unko release kar sakte hain theek hai na because they were not indulged in violence they were not directly indulged in violence ye log directly violence mein indulged nahi the the leadership of maoist who have caused lot of violence unko aap zarur jail mein rakho but you can definitely release these leaders for having a talks with them. Unke saath baat chit karne ke liye at least aap inko release kar sakte ho. Okay. So this is what it is. This is what it is. So Vicky Gautam Yadav is asking, sir, by making interact with Taliban regime, we strengthened separatist Baloch movement in Pakistan. Should we done? See, I doubt that. I doubt that. So first of all, you have to understand this. You are saying how are you helping the Baloch? Okay. So, you need to have some clarity over the map here. Now, this is our western border. Okay. So, this is our western border. Hoga, kahin na kahin. Ek, just give me a minute. Theek hai. This entity is Pakistan. Okay. This is Pakistan. This is Afghanistan and here we have this as Iran. Now as we talk about Balochistan, this part of Pakistan is Balochistan. And there is a separate movement that is going on. Yahan pe ek separatism ki movement chal rahi hai. So this thing should be clear to you. Now, Balochistan in, ent in entirety, if you see, it also includes some part of Afghanistan. It also includes some part of Iran. Okay. And its full name is called Sistan Balochistan. Sistan Balochistan. That's the full name here. That's the full name here. So this is what is there. This is what you should know. Okay, right? ये चीज आपको clearly मालूम होनी चाहिए यहाँ पे, okay? That if you are demanding or doing anything for the cause of Balochistan, it may not be acceptable even to the Afghan people. It may not be even accept to the Iranian people, क्योंकि उन सब areas में ये separatist movement चल रहा है. तो ये चीज clear होना चाहिए तो if you are saying that we are interacting with Taliban, it may strengthen the separatist Baloch, I doubt that. I seriously doubt that because you can say empowering the Baloch leaders means that they will also be active in the parts of Afghanistan. Pe bhi unka asar Iran mein bhi unka asar okay, and we do enjoy a good equation with Iran. Hum to achha relation bolte hai Iran ke so this is what the whole picture is about. So itna asan nahi hai, itna straightforward bhi nahi hai. It's a very complex thing. Okay, I can understand that we have to, you can say, exploit the vulnerabilities of Pakistan. We have to exploit Pakistan's vulnerabilities exploit karni chahiye. if they are doing it against India. So we have to do it. I do agree. It is justified. I do agree. It is justified. Okay. 
लेकिन ये प्रॉब्लम है देर आर सम रियलिटीज दैट शुड बी नोन टू अस वो जो है हमें चीजें मालूम होनी चाहिए ठीक है जी सो विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट नाउ आगे चलते हैं देखते हैं और क्या खास है सो आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस पॉइंट ओके पुलिस एलिगेशन अनबिलीवेबल दिस इज वॉट सुप्रीम कोर्ट एज सेड सो एज पैनल हैदराबाद केस कुड नॉट हैव ओपन फायर एंड रन अवे साइमिलटेनियसली भी गोली भी मार दी और भाग भी गया एक दोनों चीजें पॉसिबल नहीं है दैट्स वाई दे आर ऑफ दिस ओपिनियन दैट दिस इज अ हॉलीवुड मूवी शूट दैट वॉज दैट वॉज कैरिड आउट बाय तेलंगाना पुलिस भाई कहीं ना कहीं ये जो है मूवी बनाई गई है इन्होंने ओके okay, मसाला डाल के इसके अंदर सो दिस इज हाउ इट इज पुलिस कभी कभी ऐसी चीजें करती है बट वी शुड नॉट बी हैप्पी अबाउट दैट ओके बिकॉज यू नेवर नो वेन यू आर एट द रिसीविंग एंड आपका खुद का नुकसान हो सकता है रूल ऑफ लॉ शुड प्रिवेल ये होती है डेमोक्रेसी की इंपॉर्टेंट वैल्यू सो अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट फ्लड रेक है इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज टेकिंग प्लेस सो like there are floods in assam simultaneously there are areas in india which are facing drought aisa hota hai hamari ye sabse badi problem hai that's why we always talk about interlinking of rivers okay we talk about interlinking of rivers we talk about you can say dredging we talk about dredging dredging of द डैम्स इन द सेंस वहां पर रेत इकट्ठी हो जाती है डैम के अंदर तो डैम की वॉटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी ओवर द इयर्स इट रिड्यूस ओके डैम के अंदर रेत बहुत इकट्ठी हो जाती है बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द वॉटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द डैम मे रिड्यूस ओवर द इयर सो इट इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी कम रेगुलरली रिमूव द जो सैंड फ्रॉम द डैम विच इज गोइंग टू हेल्प अस तो ये सारे रीजन हैं डेफिनेटली क्लाइमेट चेंज इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द रीजन एज इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द इवेंट्स हैव इंक्रीज्ड अगर बारिश होती है तो इतनी हो जाती है कि बाढ़ आ जाती है ओके सो दिस इज हाउ द होल सिनेरियो इज दिस इज हाउ द होल सिनेरियो इज सो दिस इज द न्यूज नॉर्म्स ईज फॉर जी क्रॉप रिसर्च सो देर आर दीज डेवलपमेंट ओके सो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दिस थिंग दिस इज द प्रिलिम्स टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन क्वेश्चन डिड आस्क सो यूपीएससी ने इस तरीके का क्वेश्चन बहुत बार पूछा है जेनेटिक यू कैन से जीएम क्रॉप्स के ऊपर एंड वी शुड बी क्लियर अबाउट दैट सो दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट दे आज इन 2018 इट इज अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन देखो क्या पूछा था सो थ्री स्टेटमेंट जीएम मस्टर्ड हैज जीन्स ऑफ सोयल बैक्टीरियम दैट गिव्स द प्लांट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ पेस्ट रेजिस्टेंस टू द वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ पेस्ट अच्छा सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज दैट जी एम मस्टर्ड हैज द जीन दैट अलाउ द प्लांट क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन एंड हाइब्रिडाइजेशन third statement says that gm mustard has been developed by punjab agricultural university now this particular question it has a key point is question mein ek key point hai jo hame malum hona chahiye that key point is that this particular gm mustard crop the whole research activity was basically carried out by the delhi university तो ये पूरा काम दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी में हुआ था इट मींस दैट द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट इज गॉन पंजाब एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी का कोई यहां पे लेना देना नहीं है नाउ व्हेन यू लुक इनटू दिस इन विच एवर ऑप्शन द थ्री इज देयर जस्ट रिमूव दैट तो आपने वन एंड थ्री एलिमिनेट कर दिया टू एंड थ्री एलिमिनेट कर दिया वन टू थ्री एलिमिनेट कर दिया यू विल बी जस्ट लेफ्ट विद वन एक ही आपके पास ऑप्शन रह जाएगा so with the help of elimination method we can attempt this type of question okay hame nahi bhi pata thoda sa idea hai to bhi hum is question ko attempt kar sakte hain now there are some norms that have been eased out and we will look into that okay so department of biotechnology has issued guidelines easing the norms for research into gm crops uh there are there are challenges that are there and those challenges has been reduced ab pehli cheez ye keh rahe hain it exempt researchers who use gene editing technology to modify the genome from seeking approval from geac so pehle kya hota tha you have to take approval from geac and it was a time wasting activity time waste hota tha bahut zyada wahan pe okay and right now that that approval is not required approval from geac is not required okay so what is the function of geac geac evaluates the research and recommends or disapproves what should be done what should not be done ye sari cheeze geac batata hai ki bhi isko field mein leke aana hai ki nahi leke aana hai that decision is theirs so this is the whole picture which is there ab agar aap jo hai 
जीन एडिटिंग की कोई टेक्निक यूज करते हो टेक्नोलॉजी यूज करते हो बिफोर द यूज ऑफ दैट टेक्नोलॉजी द परमिशन फ्रॉम जीईएसी इज नॉट डिजायरेबल वो परमिशन आपको लेने की जरूरत अब नहीं है ओके सो दिस इज द सिग्निफिकेंट डेवलपमेंट इट विल ईज आउट लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यहाँ पे चीजें आसान होंगी रिसर्च फैसिलिटेट होगा एंड ऑल दो थिंग्स नाउ रशिया से इज नियरिंग फुल कंट्रोल ऑफ लुएंस ओके सो दिस इज वॉट इट इज सो दिस इज द रीजन ऑफ लुएंस they are claiming that they will have the full control already the fight is going on donbas mein chal raha hai mariupol mein we know the war recently ended uh, in donetsk as well you can say they are progressing is area mein bhi yahan pe war chal raha hai theek hai na so people are saying that the next target that russians may go for is this part okay so basically they completely want to cut off the ukraine from black sea and this is the moldova region okay so already people are saying that the next target of russians could be moldova but this particular whole war has not gone as per the expectation of russians they wanted a quick end okay wo quick end chahte the but this war is prolonging this war is prolonging and when the war prolongs definitely there will be a drain of रिसोर्सेज आपके इकोनॉमी जो है वो ड्रेन हो जाएंगी रिसोर्सेज जो है वो ड्रेन हो जाएगी एंड दिस इज वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन केस ऑफ रशिया सो देर इज नो यू कैन से यू कैन नॉट डिक्लेयर दैट रशियंस आर विनर हेयर बिल्कुल भी आप ये नहीं डिक्लेयर कर सकते हो बिकॉज द वॉर शुड हैव एंडेड बहुत जल्दी लेकिन ऐसा नहीं हो रहा है वहां पे वट हैपन टू द माइटी रशियन आर्मी क्या हुआ उसका इतने बड़े बड़े टैंक थे उनके पास ओके सो दिस यूक्रेन रशिया वॉर इट हैज ऑल्सो चेंज द नेचर ऑफ वॉरफेयर सो इवन द मिलिट्री एक्सपर्ट दे आर कीपिंग आई ओवर दैट एज नेचर ऑफ वॉर हैज कंप्लीटली चेंज ओके वाई आई एम सेंग दिस सो राइट नाउ इन दिस वॉर आर्टिलरी इज बींग यूज आर्टिलरी बहुत अच्छे से यूज हो रही है इवन द यूक्रेनियंस दे आर यूजिंग द यूएस प्रोवाइडेड गन्स सो यूएस हैव प्रोवाइडेड एम ट्रिपल सेवन लेटेस्ट यू कैन से आर्टिलरी गन्स टू यूक्रेनियंस एंड यूक्रेन इज यूजिंग दैट एंड दे आर यूजिंग इट क्वाइट इफेक्टिवली साइटिंगली सम ऑफ द मिलिट्री एक्सपर्ट आर सेंग दैट दिस वॉर मे गो ऑन टिल वन ईयर एक साल तक चल सकता है एंड दिस इज वॉट इज है so in kharkiv region the russians have been thrown out bahar fenk diya hai unko piche dhakel diya hai they have been thrown out back to their borders border area tak wapis leke chale gaye hain wo same is the case near the kiev here there is no russian movement taking place and primarily the fight is being fought in this part is area mein ladai chal rahi hai so this is how the whole scenario is this is how the whole scenario is so we have to wait and watch when this war is going to end but one is for sure it is the common people who may lose okay aam janta ko nuksan hota hai like politicians they take advantage of that okay to is type ki cheeze chalti rehti hai yahan pe never know when this war is going to end but people are definitely dying to ye sab development hai yahan pe okay so finland says russia is suspending the gas supplies so this is how it is so russia is just trying to exploit their vulnerabilities so in countries ki vulnerabilities ko russia exploit kar raha hai theek hai na this is how it is this is how it is so vicky gautam yadav is saying sir russia till not use their air force or armed equipment in russian made okay so sir vicky is asking sir why russia is not using the air force now i would like to give you few facts here so first thing is for sure now like russians are not using air force primarily ukraine has air defense system that is s300 theek hai they already have this system in place so russians also know that their airplanes are vulnerable apart from that ukrainian soldiers okay they are using shoulder mounted guns now shoulder mounted missiles shoulder mounted missiles those missiles have been provided by us and nato that soldiers they are launching those missiles by putting them on their shoulder ab baat kya hoti hai it is easy to destroy the fixed air defense system air defense system jo aapka fixed hai उसको तो आप डिस्ट्रॉय कर सकते हो एंड दिस इज व्हाट रशियंस डिड 
the first thing the war started and russians did was that they destroyed the air defense system of ukraine those were the stationary air defense system please pay attention here the soldier who is carrying a shoulder mounted missile apne kandhe pe rakh ke missile jo launch kar raha hai wo to yahan pe move kar sakta hai they are moving around so this is the complete picture that should be known to you it is really very difficult to locate them and that's why this is the reason that ukrainian soldiers they have been able to target the russian helicopters wo russian helicopters ko target kar rahe hain aasani se they have been able to target the russian tanks russian tanks are found to be sitting ducks russian tanks ko sitting ducks bola ja raha hai ओके बहुत इजीली डिस्ट्रॉय किए हैं यूक्रेनियन आर्मी ने रशियन टैंक्स वहां पे दिस इज हाउ इट इज जो फेमस एक वो बना था कि जी यहां से 30 किलोमीटर का कॉन्वॉय बन रहा है वो क्या था दैट वॉज अ मिस्टेक दैट वॉज अ मिस्टेक मिलिट्री एक्सपर्ट से पूछोगे वो कहते हैं तो बेवकूफी है 30 किलोमीटर तक मिलिट्री कॉन्वॉय आपका लाइन में चल रहा है इट इज वेरी इजी टू टारगेट दैट कोई भी उसको टारगेट कर लेगा so this is how the whole scenario is this is what the whole scenario is okay yes there is alarming thing for us that we are dependent on them 65% ke round hum unhi pe hi unhi se hi hai russian origin ka equipment hai hamare paas bilkul hame to is cheez ko leke jagna chahiye okay i do agree with your point that's why we are going for atmanirbharta tabhi to hum atmanirbharta ki taraf ja rahe hain so there is another important development quad working to get nord for vaccine initiative this is what you are saying saying but i am saying that it's too late okay bahut late ho gaye ho aap why i am saying this the demand for vaccine has already come down over the time demand thoda kam ho gaya hai but definitely uh, there are some you can say concerns that you may have to address in the future dekho jahan pe third dose lagne ki baat aayegi it means that vaccine may be required in the future aane wale time mein bhi vaccine ki zarurat ho aapko theek hai na so this is how the whole scenario is this is how the whole scenario is that you might require vaccine in the future so maybe quad ki vaccine ki abhi jo hai demand itni na ho but definitely aane wale time mein we do have to provide specifically to the underdeveloped world jo underdeveloped world hai unko zarur hame help karni padegi okay so this is how the whole scenario is and i am saying that this is vaccine diplomacy and it's a good thing other than that there is nothing much kuch khas nahi hai yahan pe so that's it for the day then thank you very much